right, hey guys, welcome back this week and I apologize right now for my wet hair, but I was getting ready and I didn't feel like waiting. So anyways, this week I have a really fun thing. This is the one that I was telling you I was super excited to film. I've had this idea for like months now, but I haven't been able to do it just because of like moving and everything. It was just kind of one of those things. So it's like, doesn't really make sense to do quite yet. So finally I was able to do it and that is I saw these, okay, actually, rewind. I saw this really awesome um, thing on Pinterest that were these really beautiful dishes that were kind of like watercolor painted um, and they were just like gorgeous. And I'll like link a picture up here of what they look like. I thought they were amazing. So I go to the site and I'm like, whoa, like what would it be to buy them? Like, and yeah, like $60 for like a little ring dish, not even like a plate, like a dinner plate. And so I was like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I kind of got to thinking, I was like, I wonder if maybe I could make my own. And so that was my idea. And I just wanted to kind of do a little DIY experiment of if I could make my own that looked somewhat similar. So the ones that I ended up making are this dish here, which is like kind of the size of like a ring dish. So I'll probably use this for like jewelry or something. It's not very large. And then I did a larger bowl. And then I did a larger, like this is like a dinner plate size, but I'll probably use it as like a serving plate. And so these are kind of the outcome. And I'm gonna show you the process of, I guess like how I made these. So what I did for these guys is I just found some dishes, plain white dishes from, well, the bowl, I, wait, yeah, the bowl is from Walmart, and the two plates were from uh, Target, and I know you can find even, like, just plain white dishes at, like, a Dollar Tree near you, or anything like that, so I just found these dishes, and um, they were very cheap. I think nothing that I bought was over $5. I think it was $5 for the bowl and the bigger plate, and the little one was, like, 350 but it was also like 20% off so it wasn't that expensive the paint is like a dollar fifty for a little bottle so overall like you can make a whole set of dishes for about the same price as what you would have to pay for the online dishes they might not be as awesome and very cool but they are very similar and especially if you're using them for like serving purposes I think that they'll last you long and like the paint shouldn't chip off um I wouldn't use these like for everyday dishes. I would just kind of like do it for a more special occasion kind of things. But
and amazingness that the online version was. Um, I, I mean, there was definitely a few like flukes throughout the process. So number one is that I don't know. I'll try to do some close-ups, but on the blue one, the paint kind of cracked a little bit in some places. And it doesn't really look bad, like it almost kind of just looks like it like fits in with it, but that is like, one of the issues. And my biggest problem with this is the, the clear glaze that I put over. If you look at the plate, like you guys probably, probably won't be able to see it, but if you look at it in the right light, you can see like streaks from the paintbrush. And I really didn't know how to fix that. Um, so that was kind of one other bummer. But if you don't look at it in like a certain light, then you can see like it just looks pretty cool. And I was like, I, I think this one turned out really well. And so did the ring dish. This one also turned out well. And I think the reason these ones turned out to be the best is because I put them on a cookie sheet into the oven um, and they were on the top rack. Whereas this one, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but um, it kind of like turned a little bit yellow and I could tell like the the outer coating of or like the clear gloss that went over it it almost seemed to like get burnt and so I think the only difference between the way I treated this bowl and the other plates was that this was on the bottom rack of my oven when I baked it and it didn't have a cookie sheet under it so if I were you and I was trying to do this activity I would make sure that I put it on the upper rack and um, with a cookie sheet and so for the baking process too, I kind of had a struggle to like figure out how to bake them because the um, clear medium, they didn't have that in the same brand as the colors that I got. And so one of the brands, I think the regular one says to bake, like the colors says to bake for 30 minutes at 325. And then this one says to bake for 30 minutes at 350. And so I went with this one just because I thought this was the one that was covering the most space. Um, but this probably would have, like going at 325 for 30 minutes probably would have like been just as good. So I don't know. I think that's just kind of up to you in terms of what you're gonna do for that. The only other thing that I noticed was that on this bowl, so if you can see, it has like quite a curve up. Um, it's very like, it kind of comes up a lot and I think that also made it harder for the bowl to like kind of get the paint to kind of spread out a little bit it would go up high like when I would move the bowl it would go up high on the edges but because of the curve it would fall down so I would recommend if you can find bowls that kind of have more of a gradual upturn to them rather than something quite like this um, so oh here I don't know if you guys can see. So something maybe that is a little bit less like sharp on the edges. I think that would work better in terms of spreading out the paint. Um, so overall, I mean, these are definitely not as amazing as the ones that I saw online, but I thought it was a really fun project. It really was not hard. It didn't take a ton of time. And I think that I have some pretty cool, like, fun serving dishes out of it. I also have some bowls that I think I'm going to try to do eventually, but I didn't do those in this set. Um, but you could do this with really anything um, in terms of, like, just different dishes. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so you can see what's coming up next. And if you go ahead and give this a try, please send me pictures, comment down below, comment on my Facebook page, something so that I can see how it goes for you. And if you guys go with something else. Um, yeah, so it was really fun and we'll see you next time. Bye.